back in the Caribbean. We're gonna get new canvas, woo! This is terrible. Fuck. It almost killed. But that night, I handled life like this. What's this? I'm a little freak. We sold everything we owned to buy a boat and travel the Caribbean. Paradise found. The reason why we pulled into Port Louis Marina was so that we would have constant airflow, air conditioning, or at least a dehumidifier working. We had been waiting on an air conditioning guy. First there was a spike in COVID, then he had his workers got COVID. I don't know. But here we are back on the boat and the AC is not fixed and we have mold everywhere. Everywhere. It's disgusting. This is our electrical panel. You can see the mold. It's growing on cabinets it's growing on anything on the inside it is everywhere clothing anything we open up is just mold 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 it's on the walls this is my brand new covering that I had put in and it is fucking mold just mold the curtains have mold everything is mold everything this is terrible, just terrible. Look at it, just look, it's growing. How can I even sleep under this? Fuck. This is motherfucking nasty. So gross. And then of course, when everything's hung out to dry, it freaking rains. It's not your day, baby. Look at that. Even when you clean it, it's not coming clean all the way. Fuck. After attempting to clean for hours and hours and not making much headway, I was devastated. I was completely overwhelmed thinking about the time that this was going to take and how little time we had before we were going to be leaving the marina. I was at the point of tears but I sucked it up, I wiped my tears, and I went into problem-solving mode. I went into the marina office and begged for anyone that could help me with this problem and do it quickly. And I was given the number of two local people that I fondly call my cleaning angels. The next day, I was ready to work. But that night, well, I handled life like this. <laughs> Everyone deals with stress in a different way. I'm using a CBD face mask and tequila. That is how I'm going to get through this whole boat mess. Don't smile, you have a mask on. We may have missed Halloween, but it's not over yet. What's this? What? Can't see what's going on. Look at my face. Look at my uh, face. <laughs> Did I scare you? I, I'm a little afraid because I can't see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. This is the man right here, hard at work, yes. This is Gavin, he's making this mattress like all clean. I'm so excited about having a clean mattress. Yay. Washed all the cushions, steam cleaned them. Washed all the covers, those are the curtains. This is mattress cover. And we are going to have a super clean boat, yeah. Clean out and wash all the clothes in the closet, which already had begun to smell badly. By the end of just one day with multiple people working, my beautiful boat was back to looking and smelling great. Look at this beautifully clean ceiling. I'm laying on a freshly steam cleaned mattress. And we're out of the marina the next day to get our new Bimini Dodger and full enclosure started. So we are on our way to Prickly Bay because we're going to get new canvas. Woo! So excited about that. And now uh, we're going to get rid of all this rip stuff that has freaking torn holes and leaks water. And we're going to get a brand new full enclosure with um, some new Visqueen. What's it called? The no, the plastic, whatever the plastics. Anyway, it has a name. We're gonna get new plastic, new umbrella. We're gonna be looking sharp, sharp, sharp. Yay! It is so nice to be back on our boat, back on the water, back in the sun, back in the Caribbean. This is the kind of driving you like to do, isn't it? Is Look how hard it is. Push your button. Autopilot. Autopilot. <laughs> I love octopuses and I find one every time I go snorkeling. I'm not sure if it's because I spend so much time in the water or if it's because they trust me and they want to be found. Either way, I love it. All of this time underwater also gives me fascinating peeks into the tiny, tiny creatures that live there. See if you can spot the crab here. See it yet? What about now? Ah, what an amazing ability to camouflage. This is probably the smallest octo I have ever encountered. So small, so cute, so curious. You're way too close to my face. There's a booger there, I can see it. You know, back up. <laughs> my back arms, up. hold the thing, because my arms are only this long. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, get in my picture. Is that what we call it now? <laughs> On taco night, I told him I got a taco right here. But he said, I need to eat some tacos. First. <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming together! Ever After Canvas has finished our canvas work and it looks amazing! We have a full surround now with a frowny face so that this can drop down and let some air go through here. He did a couple of cool little neat things like he made our windows in the side half Pfeiffer Tech which lets the air go through. We can zip up into inside when the weather's bad and we can let it be open and open to the air. He made us some nice little straps so the windows that come on the side have a place to hang and we can see the sunset. Ever after very happy with our new, our new duds. Huh, oh, baby? We got some new duds. I had that coconut to me on the head. It was close, it almost killed me. Man dies by baby coconut. Baby coconut. <laughs> Beware of falling coconuts. Fun, fun, fun. Thanks for watching. Crabby Captain and the Sunny Sailor. Our past and present videos can be yours to buy or rent. There even is an uncensored option.
Our Patreon supporters are so special to us. We love you. Join our crew and become a patron today. Click the link right here. Thanks for watching from the Krabby Captain and the Sunny Sailor. Please take the time to like, comment, subscribe, and follow both on this platform and on our website. And come back again to join us as we live out this amazing dream.